Greetings and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Traffic Department 2192 Episode 2 Mission 40. Right, so the new synthetic uh, TD officers apparently have a self-destruct device capable of leveling a building. Yeah. I don't trust Dr. Kane, but let's see where this goes. Mission 14. Vulture Mulcher. Mulcher. Screwdriver's bar and officer's lounge. That evening. She spends there a lot of time. She spends a lot of time there. Grammar. I do know it sometimes. Is that a regenerative biolubricant you're drinking? Get lost, you faceless shit. I'm sorry, I disturbed you. But I wish to speak with you in private. Didn't they give you ears? Listen, you mechanized, marble-minded messenger. If Kane has something to say, he can say it to my face. I wish to speak to you in private. I wasn't sent by Roland Kane. Go back to fact about the uranium dick and take that shit for brain supervisor with you. I understand your hostility, Officer Velasquez. We synthetics represent a part of you which you don't like very much. But I think there's something about us you should know. Officer General Creel. Oh, we haven't seen him in a while. In the warp cruiser Scavenger. Still in orbit. What news, Doctor? My androids are in place, General Creel. The Voltigard traffic department is no longer any concern to us. Be sure to inform my daughter of her success, Doctor. She will make arrangements to have to safely conveyed from the city. I tried to contact Glacia myself, but she is unavailable. She's temporarily left Voltigard in Friedkin's hands. And Friedkin has every intention of claiming the city as his own. The deluded fool even thinks I'm on his side. The political aspirations of an inept director do not concern me, Doctor. Friedkin Hyde is living on borrowed time. There is one concern. Tall cyborg officer Marta Velasquez is causing problems. That name sounds familiar. Do what you must to erase her. There's a bonus, mod, however. I've located our missing scientist, and I've compelled him to join Vectorbot. Good. Once you are finished in Voltigar, Doctor, have our clone return to us. The real Dr. Ramses is anxious to see his creation again. Mm. Screw his bar and officer's lounge again. Five radians later. About nine years ago, Vectorbot tested their Trident class kit at a TD in Vault. Vault, Vault Mayar. Remember that? The design was flawed. The skid didn't protect, protect its pilot's body from the engine's radiation emissions. So what? Twelve officers suffered an acute form of fusive debilit huh? debilitation which was ultimately lethal. As a result, Vectorbot agreed to pay handsome re recompense to the officers' families. This story better be going somewhere. The officers did not die, Velasquez. Instead, Vectorbot dis decided to encase each officer's deteriorating genetic fibers in solenized carbon ca casing. Wait, they're really making up words now. All in the name of research. Care for a drink, Velasquez. Go fly off the cliff. Nine years later, Vectorbot finds 12 carbonized officers in the wreckage of Valtanaya's TD command station. One of the company scientists, Roland Kane, decides to integrate their genetic fibers into the circuitry of his androids, creating a machine with regenerated, regenerative capabilities. I am such a machine. Kane did this to you? I feel no malice towards him. He saved all that was left of my life. Once again, I am a TD officer. I am not some irresponsive automaton, Velasquez. You should not hate me. I hate everyone. Just don't take it personally. 
Do you have a name? You mean other than the radium dick? Yes, my name is Timothy Rip Rebel. Most of my memories survived Dr. Kane's erasure sequence, but Kane doesn't know this. Please don't tell him my memory's intact. I won't say shit. What's your error designation? Captain Toll's office the next day. I thought you never wanted to see another android, let alone work with one. I needed to vent my frustration, but given the choice between a warm-blooded or cold-blooded partner, I'll take the cold-blooded one. Good. You and Arrow 9 will be flying a patrol mission in Stilatos. Your targets will be centered around the Vulture Command post in the southeast. There have been reports of strange skits around that area. Intelligence suggests that some of the convoys you've destroyed lately were carrying parts for a new ship, so you may run into something a little different out there. After seeing you every day, I'll be glad for a change. The Upper Hangar, 25 Radeon Slater. <sighs> I still prefer the Vault Haven Hangar. I just emanate cool. What the hell do you want? Would sex be out of the question? You'd never survive it. I can think of worse ways to die. Well, write them down and I'll see what I can do. You're pretty sharp, Phil. Just like a vulgar and cactus. And you're dull like desert dirt. I've been called worse, but I hear you've been saddled with another synthetic. It's almost really like you. No, I think you're more than this type. Besides, I had requested the android. Oh yeah? What's he got that I don't? A lifetime warranty. And a personality. Well, good qualities to have. There are several vultures in the southeast. Destroy them. Sounds like easy enough. Alright, that's arrow 9. Vulture 1, Vulture 1, Vulture 1, Vulture 3! Alright, something new! So as long as you don't run into any borrowed or blue, it'll be just fine. Hello, Arrow. Alright, nope. That looks heavy. Slow, but heavy. Did I get him? I think I got him. Alright, all of the vultures have been destroyed. Then to base. I can do that. There, yep, there we are. Ooh, sideways in. Successful, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I am progressing to the highest level of piloting ability. Yeah, I was not aware that you could get that high. But it's nice to know that I'm being thought of. Captain Toll's office after the mission. Ooh. What will this be about? We were monitoring your progress via relay station Vanguard. It seems the Vulture 3 skirt has been completed ahead of schedule. It's a slug. True, 
but it packs enough firepower to pulverize most of our skids. In your opinion, how did the synthetic perform? As much as I hate to admit it, he's not too bad. I'll take it as a compliment. Don't bother. Those androids may prove effective after all, assuming they each perform as well as Aero 9. I wouldn't count on it. Direct the Hyde's office. Later. His office looks like a news desk. But then again, he does have a cooking show. As you can see, last year, my darling, everything is exactly as you left it. I'll have to judge that for myself. My, you are a suspicious creature. Much like your father, I'm afraid. If you don't mind the criticism, your belief is that you Volthelm was all too brief. Let's just say I found what I was looking for. This is Ian, my new friend. He went to Voltham to find a friend. How delightful! By the way, how is Director Corman these days? Dead. He was executed three months ago for treason. At my father's command. Director Straub runs affairs in Voltham now. I see. Well, as you know, no one is more loyal to the Overlord than I. You're a puppet, Hyde. Spineless and utterly brainless. You cut your own strings. I guarantee you'll fall. Lovely rhetoric. I don't suppose you have time for just one game of... I and Ian and I have other plans. Don't we, Ian? Y yes ma'am. Well, that was an interesting introduction. Ah, but we'll have to see what that's all about next time.